Hey generators, welcome to your October 2023 um, reading, whether you are going to focus this reading just on your business or your personal life or your health or your wealth, whatever it might be, you need to trust your instincts on this. And that's what I always say. These readings are meant for you to trust your hell yeses and your hell nos of what actually works for you and um, what doesn't work for you. Or maybe I'm going to say something that's going to put you into a different thought, a belief about what it is that I'm sharing. And that's perfect. That's what I want for everybody. So it's been an interesting read. I always get excited doing generators because this is my energy type too. So I love all you generators out there and man gens out there. Okay. I love every energy type. Please know that I am being kind of cheeky right there. Okay. So for the month of um, October, the energy that we are all going to have with us is actually gate 24. It's up in the Anjana and I'm really sorry. I have a new camera and it really doesn't do a great job focusing on it, but you'll be able to see it. Pull up your chart, look at gate 24. It's in the Anjana. And it's one of the most deep, like knowingness gates. Um, it's pondering to get the truth. And this is really interesting. Okay. So I have already done four out of the five um, readings already. And I always find, and I've done this for years, no matter how the type of readings I've done, is that usually there's like a theme and the theme happens to be in the Anjana for everybody, sorry, my hair's driving me nuts, you guys, um, is the Anjana, which means that I believe that as a collective whole, we're going to have a massive wake up call in October with some belief systems that we've all been playing with. So whether that is a belief that you have been playing with your whole life, and all of a sudden, you're going to have an epiphany, and you're going to be like, I cannot believe that I used to believe that like, my whole basis of life um, it's kind of like if you've ever talked to anybody who's been, you know, is broken away, maybe even from a cult or from a, a really high stress demand type of job or um, a purity culture, like any of those things have such high demands and belief systems that they put on you. And when people start to break away from these things, what happens is they have kind of what they call their wake up call which means that you kind of have to go through and dissect all these beliefs that you've actually operated a lot of your life on. That can feel really disturbing and that can feel overwhelming. And every single one of the readings I've done thus far have been talking about this. So there is some significance, which tells me I think there's a global shift coming um, with what we've believed and what we've seen. Um, I'm, you know, and for each one of us, that's going to land differently. Every pertinent information that we get from anywhere, we all will, per will perceive it differently. But it's this idea that we all need to, and because of all the retrogrades still that are going on, all the major planets are still basically in retrograde this month, which means that we're reviewing things, which makes sense why the Anjana and our belief systems would be a focal point for everybody in this month. Um, okay, let's see what the second one card is. The second card is 37 for us, which is fostering community. This one comes off of the solar plexus and reaches up towards the ego center. And this one really is about, it wants to foster community. It likes to be with its people. And sometimes our people is our family. Sometimes our people isn't our family. Sometimes it's people that we've met along the way that have similar belief systems. And I think that because of the, pondering to get the truth that we're going to want to either relook at who we're hanging out with right now. Um, maybe we're going to be starting hanging out with different types of people um, that have different belief systems. Maybe we're going to like just be chucking away a lot of the friendships and relationships that haven't served us and aren't working for us right now because we want to foster the community in which will support us in our unique journeys, right? And listen, everybody goes through ups and flows with partnerships and friendships and even careers and business opportunities. And by the way, this all could be directly related if you have your own small business. This really could be directly related that you're going to have some epiphanies on your business and be able to shift who it is that maybe you're fostering your community to. Maybe you've been directing your energy out to the wrong group. And all of a sudden you're going to have an aha moment. Like, oh, I don't know why I've spent all this time doing that. Here's the key with all of this. Anytime that we're going to be pondering to get the truth and have some major shifts, we can easily get stuck depending on what's coming out of your spleen. But in general, we can all kind of get stuck on what 
what our fears are and they can get exaggerated in moments like these. Because you think about if you've got such a deep belief system in something and you don't know how to um, do self-forgiveness or forgiveness for the people whom you believed in so much, um, that's going to be part of your journey is to work through all of that. And I think it's interesting because then your last card is gate 60, comes out of the root center and it's an intolerance for roadblocks. So I've got a funny feeling for a lot of generators out there that gate 60 is you're going to feel that pressure to do something about it. Um, intolerance for roadblocks is really an energy that it isn't always on. It kind of pulsates on and off by something that you found kind of disruptive in your world that you didn't like necessarily, that it wasn't um, as loving or beneficial as you thought it was going to be that you're not going to stop. You're going to now work through this. So you've got a lot of beautiful root energy coming at you um, saying, oh no, we're going to figure this out. We're going to create a new community and we're going to allow ourselves to reestablish what our thoughts and beliefs were. Yeah. Interesting. Um, let's pull the animal card to see. Um, I will say this about all the readings today. They've been so very concise about what the message is to the nth degree. I sat down yesterday and tried to do these readings. Um, I had a massive headache and I did, I just gave up and now I can see why because uh, yeah, the information was not coming so soothing. Ah, so generators, your um, animal is the eagle spirit. Spirit has got your back. I'm feeling the desire to actually kind of look that one up. It's 23 equals five. Oh, and I opened right up to it. Imagine that. Think of the eagles flying above the other birds soaring on the wind. And eagle spirit has appeared to ask whether you're willing to soar to new heights, even if that means solitude for a short while. Truly, all the wisdom of the world is available to you. And when storms flash across the sky, it is the eagle spirit that raises that rises above it all, helping you conquer fear and overcome adversity, reminding you that spirit has your back and wants you to experience life at its fullest. At this moment, you are meant to know that you have the highest wisdom and courage within, gifted to you by the spirit and by all the angels. Boldly build the nest in a lofty space and know that now you can fly effortlessly embodying the eagle spirit okay yeah so i mean to be able to take a look at things from a higher perspective is the greatest goal and to me just as um you know a coach and a reader that that means more to me than anything that we all need to rise above whatever it is that we're seeing i feel like there is going to be and it could be in your personal life too but i think as uh as a society, we're going to see some other new things being revealed that are possibly going to shock a lot of us. Some of us are going to say, yeah, yeah, I knew. But all in all, it's going to change how we're going to be doing something. That's what it feels like. And again, this could be all completely personal and nothing to do with your outer world because each one of us, each one of us perceives information differently. So it'll be exciting to hear from you guys and to hear how this related to your world by the end of October. Blessings to you all.